What's up everyone, welcome back to the second channel. It took me like 30 minutes to figure out this lighting, but it's whatever. Now I'll show you exactly how to fix the certain problem that you might be having of, of not downloading certain apps on your phone. Now I do have a Tennis Max, it's running iOS 13.3.4 right now, the beta actually. And sometimes you might run into this problem and it's a very easy fix. Now there's a couple ways to fix this actually. So as you can see, I'm connected to Wi-Fi and I have an app that I'm downloading right here. Now sometimes you might have to actually double click it a couple of times. So as you can see, it's possible. If you go ahead and tap it, you can see it's downloading again. If you just do that a couple times, like I know this is going to be perfectly fine, but if you actually go and tap it a couple times, it might actually end up fixing that specific issue that you're having. As you can see, in this case it was already going to download anyway, but when you pause it and you re-click it, it'll go ahead and play through and it'll actually download. So that's like the main way I've been able to see. However, one of the main issues that I usually see is basically like people's Wi-Fi or cell signals not being fast enough or sometimes they are connected to the wrong network. So you want to make sure you're connected to the right Wi-Fi network. You want to click here and make sure you toggle those things on and off. If you're connected and you try to do that double tap thing and that's still not working, you might have to log out and then log back into your iCloud account, which is pretty easy to do. All you have to do is go into settings, click up here to go to right there. And you want to click iTunes and App Store, and you'll see your name right there, and you'll see a bunch of other things here. Sometimes you can try toggling these things on and off. Maybe that'll work. I doubt it, though. You just want to go ahead and click your Apple ID, and you can click Sign Out right there. Now, obviously, I'm not going to sign out. I wonder what I forgot means. Maybe that's just like a password, but as you can see, you can sign out there, and that's probably the second thing I would recommend. If that first thing doesn't go through and the second thing doesn't go through, this is probably your main way of going about it, if I'm being honest. If you did that and that's still not working, you might actually have to change the date and time settings. So if you go into general, you scroll down into date and time right there. You can go ahead and set that to automatically, which is probably the one you should probably set that on. That way it'll actually go ahead and set it automatically. You don't have to mess with anything. If that's still not working, you still have another option. You want to go into screen time and you want to make sure there's no limit set or anything like that. Now, as you can see, I don't have anything like that. But if you click on app limits, you'll be able to see, you know, whether you have an app store limit or something like that. Now, if your parent gave you this phone or something, there very well might be one, but if not, then the really only main choice to do is to do a factory reset at this point. You can power down your phone and try it that way, but if that's not working, you might actually have to erase all content. So if you go into general, you go into reset, and you can see erase all content as settings. You could probably do that, or before you do that, you can click reset all settings, and that'll actually change up a couple of things, set everything back to default, and that might actually fix your thing there. If that's still not working, you can go and erase all content and settings. And then if that's not working, then you need to burn the phone because that phone is definitely not working and there's an issue with it. Totally joking, I'm totally joking about that. But yeah, those are just a couple ways of how to fix, you know, some apps that might not be able to download on your specific iOS device. If these things helped you out or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it will mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those things are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.